Professionally, it's not wise to support any candidate, but this idea is so good that I think it should exist. And I think the fountainhead of many of the good ideas in, in, on the table this year are coming from a single source, Andrew Yang. And for some reason, no one's paying attention to him. This guy's the origin of a platform that really does address where I think the country needs to go. It's a good point. <laughs> well, I think that the, you know, I don't know anything about your know, caucus process. Like, I've, I've asked locals about it. They say it's like playing musical chairs. But I know it does set the tone for the rest of the election. What I'm trying to do is make people aware of an option that I think is fantastic. I mean, people are always gonna do what they wanna do. I don't wanna be insulting people and say, oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a nightclub comedian. That's what I do. I'm not an expert on anything, but I live in Dayton. I, I understand why this platform is formidable. 
and I'm supporting it. I really do think it's an important, you know, Martin Luther King came up with a universal basic income. No one's ever run on this before. It's very exciting, I'm very inspired. Mr. Uh, Gant, can you talk about your first meeting with Mr. Capel? He was just talking about how you guys spent a long time discussing all of your ideas and how you guys- It's a thrill to sit down with me. I've been a fan for years. And we bonded over the fact that we're both dads. Uh, we both have the same uh, hopes and dreams for the future of this country, that we can improve our own way of life. And uh, Dave's such a profound thinker in so many ways. I mean, I think you're more than a nightclub comedian, just because he's laid it out there, Dave. Um, that it, it felt like like some something had brought us together, mainly his wife, actually. <laughs> Uh, something that brought us together uh, to take this message to the country. And uh, I'm thrilled to have Dave here talking about the ideas of this campaign. I'm thrilled to have Dave associated with the Yang Yang in any form. Um, and sitting down with him was a thrill. Being here today with him is a thrill. Having him come to Iowa to help spread the word is awesome. And it just goes to show what a class act Dave is, what a patriot. He wants what's best for the country. And it's not necessarily the norm for someone of Dave's stature as a celebrity to come and throw down with a political candidate or campaign. And that just speaks to the kind of man Dave is, and I appreciate the hell out of him. Thank you. I, I need to get out there, get on this. I mean, it's pivotal. But like like, uh, like Andrew Yang projected, like so many like experts project, the job market will change so much in the next decade, you know? Uh, that is horrifying because in the community I live in, it's, it changed so much in the last decade that I'm old enough that I can see and feel the difference. I mean, we're just not going in a, a, a good direction, and people are suffering. Like you know, you can you can see any kind of political thing you want, but but nobody's going to disagree. Like people are suffering. I live near. I've done so well in the last few years. The wealth disparity between me and my neighbors is immense. It's heartbreaking. And if you know that a third of the people up the street can't buy groceries, uh, then, then you start to feel an imperative or concern. It's not the kind of thing that I would just like in secret and hope for the best. I said, well, I should say something. You know, if people listen to me, so be it. If they don't, so be it. But I know I'm doing my civic duty by just saying the thing that I believe in. This is without irony or punchline. I'm just telling you, this guy's got some great ideas. You should check it out. I think you would probably agree. Mr. Yang, Mr. are you Chappelle, concerned? The, Mr. Chappelle, the, uh, the Yang campaign has been criticized for using uh, Asian stereotypes kind of in a lie. As a comedian, do you think the use of this uh, stereotypes in a sense of humor way uh, lessens the negative effects that it may have? Uh, potentially. I mean, this is a very broad and philosophical question that I'm not prepared to answer in this context. But potentially, yes. I wouldn't worry about those types of things. Uh, I think that people are combing through every statement nowadays to find fault in it. But, but whatever fault you find in any statement, you can't ignore the virtue or the purpose of, of what's behind it. And the virtue in this case is that he's literally trying to make life better for millions of people. Mr. Yang, are you concerned that some of-